Of course, the one day I remember to actually take this video, um, it's raining outside, I have a giant bump on my face, and I just got off work. Actually, that's a lie. I did record this once, but the audio was horrible, the angle was weird, and it was just not it. So I decided I was going to do it again. It just took me forever to do it, but now I'm ready. Hi, my name's Tiffy, and I have been taking Effect Store for more than a year now. It has been two years and three months. All right, let me just check my notes. Yes, okay, so I started taking Effect Store April, no, August of 2021. Has it been two years? No, it's been, no, it's not been two years. It won't be two years. This year will be two years. So I took the, see, this is why you need to write stuff down. <laughs> All right, so I was on 37.5 milligrams. That's what I started off with um, from August of 2021 up until January 15th of 2022. After that, I switched to 75 milligrams, and that is what I have been on since last year, January. So I have been on the 75 milligrams for one year and three months. Um, I do have a, another video about the 35 milligram journey, which was rough starting out. But yeah, that one is up and I will link in the link you do. Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about what it's, we're not, oh my God, my thoughts. We're going to talk about what it's been like being on 75 milligrams for a year and three months. First of all, um, I said when I was taking the 37.5 that, um, you know, I felt like it was helping way more the depression than it was with the anxiety. And honestly, I was okay with that. Um, I'm like, as long as I get to feel like a normal person every day that I wake up, I'm okay. So that was okay to me. But I was like, but if it eventually does something for the anxiety, I would be very happy with that. And I'm happy I stuck with it because it did. So I definitely feel like once I upped the dosage, that is when it started to affect the anxiety um, way more than when I was on the 37.5 milligrams. I don't think it was doing much for the anxiety. It was doing a whole lot for my depression though. So pros. I mean, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a, like how I did with the first one, um, instead of like summarizing everything, I would take clips throughout the year or throughout the time whenever I felt like I had a chance to, and then I would just, you know, compile those all together. So that's what we're going to do now. And then I will see you at the end for an update or a round. What's the word? Round, round up. Round. Round. Something round. I can't think of the word. Re It'll come to me eventually. So this is super random and it's really late and I'm about to go to sleep. I'm like all set up to go to sleep. But um, if I'm going to be making a second part to this effects or video, I figured I should kind of make it the same way I did the first one, which is like live video in addition to like me talking to the camera after the fact. So it is March 8th. No, it's March 7th. And just today I realized that yes, the upping from 35 37.5 milligrams to 75 milligrams is in fact helping my social anxiety. I need to up my prescription for my glasses and I needed to call the eye doctor to make an appointment. And if you have social anxiety, you know that that's a very hard thing to do. Just in general, that's like not an easy thing to do to call someone, especially to call someone in front of people. But I kind of had no issue with that today. I was like in a restaurant. I called no problem. I realized that I'm not really worried about all the other people around me when I was eating. I was able to just kind of be myself a little bit more, which was kind of exciting. It's like the first time in my life that there has been any relief from my social anxiety ever. So that was nice. Also, the other day I went out with one of my friends and I, we were like shopping. So we were in Burlington, we were in Marshalls. I think we went to, we went to Kohl's, we went to a couple of places. And normally I just feel like really uncomfortable, really anxious in those situations just because there's people there. I don't want to be around anyone. I'm just like, oh, don't talk to me. Don't touch me. Stay in my bubble, scared. Stay with, like, I want, to, I want whoever's with me to stay near me. I don't want to be like walking alone. But... Um, I actually didn't feel anxious at all that whole time. And 
normally like, I don't know, I just, I didn't feel anxious at all. It was nice um, up until I got to the counter. Actually, even when I was paying, I was fine. I just, I didn't want to walk up to them and ask them the price of something because I just, I feel like I'm bothering people when I do that. So I went and found a price checker. And then when we went to the counter and paid for it, I don't know, it just, everything felt kind of regular. So yeah, turns out the 75 is working. The 75, 75 milligrams of Effexor is working. So yeah, there are some other symptoms though. Um, side effects, side effects. So I did forget to say that when I was taking the um, 35.7 milligrams, sorry, brain fog all the time, <laughs> that when I was taking the 35.7 milligrams that, um, what the heck was I going to say? Oh, I picked up some nervous habits that I haven't done in a while. Like I noticed that I was shaking my leg a lot more, which is something that I used to do when I was younger, like in high school and when I was still in college. That was kind of something that I used to do a lot, like the leg shaking. I feel like I had stopped doing that. I think that was a like a nervous anxiety habit that I stopped doing. And I felt like I started doing it a lot more since I got on Effexor. Another thing that was weird was that I used to like pick my fingers a lot. Like I would get like the hangnails, anything that was on the side of it. I just, I don't like them to be like extra skin or anything like that. And so I would like nearly destroy my hands trying to get all the extra skin and make them all neat and perfect. In trying to make them neat and perfect, I ended up making them look crazy. But that was something that I used to do a lot when I was in high school. And um, my sister would actually have to hide like the nail nipper. If you guys know what that is, it kind of looks like I'm going to put up a picture of what it looks like. It's this thing. Um, yeah, I used to use those a lot and I would destroy my fingers trying to get everything. It's like a nervous habit type thing. It's like an anxiety thing. So yeah, she would have to hide it. I would have band-aids on literally every finger and yeah that is something that i started doing also when i started taking the 35.7 so this all happened before the 75 milligrams so i just thought it was kind of weird that some of my nervous habits that i had stopped and that i hadn't done in years had come back when i started taking the 35.7 milligrams now that i'm up to the 75 those things are still present they didn't stop but i am noticing an improvement in my anxiety so that's nice my overall general anxiety like when I'm driving, my fear that someone's going to shoot me if I'm not driving correctly or that if I'm in the bathroom, the women's bathroom at my job, the dryer is when you're drying your hands, all the bathroom stalls are behind you. And I always have a fear that if someone's in there, they are going to come out and stab me. And so that's still a thing. But, you know, the general social anxiety, I think, is improving. So, yeah, that's nice. Sorry, I sound all like eh, eh, crazy. I was talking a lot today. We went out to a restaurant, me, my mother, and my sister. And yeah, that's it. And it's also late. It's time for me to go to bed. But before I went to bed, I wanted to say that. Also, dry mouth. That is something that I'm experiencing since the 75 milligrams. I have a lot of dry mouth. I feel like I'm thirsty all the time. So yeah, that's just a thing. Anyways, this is too long now for this little clip. And I guess we'll do more updates as the days go on. But yeah, March 8th, feeling like I'm... That means three months. Three months on the 70 five milligrams and I'm feeling like the anxiety is um reducing so that's nice we'll check back in later I guess one more thing I forgot to add so I have to come back on is headaches with the 75 milligrams I have been experiencing some headaches which is also a side effect they're not terrible um they're not even bad headaches I don't get them a whole bunch I don't think I'm just not someone that generally has headaches so it's a little different you know like maybe I have like I don't know 10 headaches a year if that so it's weird to have headaches because I'm just not used to it but yeah I'll take a headache over anxiety any day okay they're not migraines like no sensitivity to light or anything like that I'm not like laying down can't move or anything it just feels like a regular headache so hopefully that ends soon because it's not great but also I'll take it over the anxiety it's March 10th, not that much longer from the last time I did this. And I don't even know if it's the medication or not, but oh my God, I'm so tired. Like, I don't know how many hours I slept yesterday. I know I came home early from work because it snowed and I'm not that familiar with driving in the snow. So I came home early and it was like, I don't know. I came home early. Maybe it was like 2 o'clock. I watched an episode of a show. I went to sleep until 4.30. 
I got up, fed my cats their lunch. I went back to sleep. No, I think I got up, fed my, fed my cats their lunch, watched one episode of Infested, and then went back to sleep until like nine o'clock at night. Hi, Dill. Hi, you ate already. Hi, hi, you ate already. And then um, I went back to sleep till like nine o'clock. Fed my cats at nine, their dinner. And then I went back to sleep until this morning. It is now like 7.30 and I am still exhausted. Like I was so tired yesterday, my eyes could not stay open. So this is feeling like the beginning of when I started the 37.5 milligrams. And I'm wondering if because it's starting to like really take effect on my anxiety, if that's what's making me tired because it's actually starting to work. So I don't know. I'm gonna take a COVID test, I think though, because I'm super exhausted. So we'll see what happens. But figured I should share that before I make some breakfast. Gonna make some oatmeal. <laughs> yes, oatmeal. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm coming back from vacation. This is a super random video, but um, definitely doing a lot better in terms of social anxiety and whatnot. I definitely feel like it's improved. I feel like I've done multiple things that I don't think I would have done before on my own or with other people just in general. I feel like I have more of a social life now, which is also helped by the fact that I learned how to drive and got a car. But yeah, definitely doing way better on the 75 milligrams of Effexor. It is, what day is it? April 12th. It's April 12th. And so the effects are is working. Definitely. I feel a lot more comfortable in situations that I would not have felt comfortable in before. So yes, I'm still on the effects are 75 milligrams and I'm still liking it, still loving it, still really helping me with my depression. And like I was hoping for once I upped to the 75 milligrams, it is really helping with my anxiety. She's doing the bike. I look crazy but I seem to always look crazy in these little like updatey things um I am packing to move so boxes cat stuff more boxes boxes and junk don't mind me I found my birthday crown um when I was packing the move and I've just been you know casually wearing it for two days <laughs> Dill's back there lounging that's their little container for when I move I'm gonna container not the word i was looking for but that's what they're gonna be in when i move they're gonna be moved in that in my um car so yeah i don't think i said i drive now i know how to drive and i have a car um other than that let's do an update on the effects tour it is june 6th um uh some people have been asking for like an update on this which i am still gonna do there's just been a lot of space in between the last thing that i said versus now but I've been so exhausted. I'm not sure if it's burnout, the general state of the world, um, the fact that I'm poor or what. So yeah, there's been a lot of tiredness, a lot of sleepiness. Um, I've been sleeping like for like full days, just can't get out of bed. There's some days where I'm tired, but I can still make it out of bed. And then there's some days where I literally can't keep my eyes open and I cannot do it. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if that's related to another medical issue or if it's because of the effects or but since I've been upped um, to the 75 milligrams, it has been an issue where I am very tired, like super exhausted. Other than that, everything's going good. I feel like if I was in this situation where I was moving, didn't have a set job yet, uh, my finances are not the greatest. My bank account is sad and poor and I am not in the greatest position right now to be moving to another state, which is what I'm doing. I am moving to another state. I currently live in New York. I'm going to be moving to another state. And uh, yeah, not in the greatest position right now to be doing that. My business is currently closed. So I'm not making any money on that. My pride shop. It is pride month, which would be peak money time. But um, I feel like mentally I'm doing okay. I'm just like, oh, I don't have enough money. You're like trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But I'm not like in the spaces I've been in before where I've been like poor, poor. Because that does affect your mental state even though that's not the only thing that affects my mental state that is something that would definitely bring me into like a low dip a very low dip and i feel like it hasn't so i do think it's i'm doing better 
uh, mentally, which I've said in my last video. I do think the effects are definitely help with the depression. I actually do think it's helping with anxiety. But another thing that I feel like has helped with anxiety is me being able to drive and finally getting a car, finally learning how to drive and finally getting a car because I do feel more free. And I feel like that kind of helps with my anxiety in a way. I don't know if that make, if that's making sense, but that's what I'm a feeling. And yeah, just giving a quick update. I'll do like obviously the full rounded update, which I probably won't be able to do until I actually move at the end of this month because I'm not planning on uploading or doing any video work until I move. There's just a lot going on. I have a lot to do before I move, but I did start packing at my apartment. Look at my bookcase. It's so sad. And then all over there, all the boxes. So, yeah. I do live in a studio, by the way, in case you didn't know. There's my couch. There's my cat. There's my new bed frame over there and some new cat litter box things. My altar. And then over here is my bed with my bookcase above it. And then over there is the, ah, I can't really see what's going on. Oh, the dining room area in there. I'm like, the camera's not facing the right direction. So I'm trying to point in there. <laughs> can't get my finger in the right direction. Oh, over there, there's a kitchen in there. Down the hallway, there's a bathroom. And on the side, there is a closet. So yeah, I lost my crown. That's my update. I'm also really chatty, which was another side effect of effects which i didn't know about till today and i'm like that kind of makes sense i have been very chatty lately okay that's all the word is not wrap up but i'm gonna go with that because that is kind of it goes with it that's similar to the word that i'm looking for but i can't think of which is a running theme with me it seems like yeah okay so i know i talked about it a little bit in there but um moving is definitely a pro like i definitely feel like that was something that helped um not that moving helped i think that the effects or helped me to be able to move i don't think i would have been able i mean i think i would have been able to accomplish it but probably not as effortless not I mean, when it wasn't easy but you know because moving is never easy just in the scope of moving but i don't think i would have been i think i would have been way more anxious moving than what i was um i think i was like pretty calm for moving to a whole nother state for the first time in my life so that's a thing also once i moved here um i had i think two phone interviews and then one in-person interview and i definitely don't think i would have felt as comfortable as i did on those interviews or even as comfortable applying to the jobs that i applied to um actually when my the, the job that I work out now, when I went there, like they were like, oh my God, I love your confidence. I just, I love the way you answered all the questions. Like I did a video interview and then they brought me in and they were just like, wow, like this is it. Like we want you. So they had another interview lined up that day. And I think like they didn't even like give them the time of day. And they just kind of went with me because they knew that they wanted me on their team, which was great, which I don't think would have been a thing had I not been taking the effects or because I am not the greatest interviewer. At least I thought I wasn't. But I think once the anxiety levels were down, I'm able to calm down and actually interview the way that I should interview. So that is definitely something that the effects are help with. I don't think that I would have been working at the place that I'm working out now had I not taken, had I not been on effects or especially the 75 milligrams, the higher dosage. So that's a one for the the cons, the pros. <laughs> Definitely would not have been able to get the job that I have now. I don't know where I would have been working. Probably would have stayed with the company that I was at previously, but I hated that job. And so I'm happy now because for the first time in my life, I'm at a job that I like. So yay me. Um, I don't remember because I, I didn't watch back the videos yet that I had taken. Um, I'm just going off a of memory of the things that I took. And I don't think I talked about driving and all of that, but got my permit, learned how to drive, got my license, bought a car, and did all of that in the span of a year. And so even maybe even it might have been a year, maybe even a couple of months, I don't know. But yeah, I definitely that was definitely something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And the fact that it only happened after I had been on the effects or I think is pretty telling. I don't think uh, I think I was even just like nervous to even get started on the process without taking it. So 
that's definitely a parole. Um, yeah, the freedom to be able to go wherever I want, which also helps a lot with anxiety and depression when you feel like you're free to go wherever you want, do whatever you want. You don't have to rely on other people. That lessens it on its own. But obviously, I wouldn't have been able to get there without the effects source. So, yeah, and I'm not trying to push effects on anybody. I'm just saying my experience with it because i know with medication you have to figure out which one works for you which dosage works for you not everything works because i did take a uh, zoloft in 2016 and it was not it so i'm glad that i'm on effects right now because it is it so for the cons <laughs> there's not a lot but there are some um one of the cons is if you do not take it, the withdrawal effects happen very fast when i first moved here because i moved to a new state when i first moved here for some reason, I'm dumb, so I took my like pill organizer, which had a week of my like vitamins and the medication in it, but then I left my entire bottle probably back in my old apartment. Um, so who knows what happened to it? And you start feeling effects like within the day, like you get a headache, you might get nauseous, like within a day, within a week, like it's just not good. So I had to put in an emergency, um, like refill to a place here so my doctor is in new york i had to put an emergency refill in north carolina and when i showed up they're like are you sure this is like right i'm like yes yes this is right yes my doctor in new york sent it here to north carolina because i need it <laughs> so that's definitely something withdrawal effects happen very fast i got nauseous i had a headache it was just not good i don't think my mood changed any maybe a little bit irritability but i don't think it changed too much, mostly just the nausea and the headaches. And so it depends on what, sim what symptoms, is that what it is? What side effects you had already, because that was like one of the major side effects that I had when I first started taking it. Secondly, in case you can't tell, I cannot shut up. This is a real problem for me. I am not a talkative person. I am not somebody that talks a lot. Most people describe what used to describe me as the quiet one, the quiet friend, the quietest person they know. I've been called that. I've been called the quietest person someone has ever met in their life. For some reason, I cannot shut up. And I did see this as one of the possible side effects, but I didn't believe it. I thought it was something fake, but now I'm living the reality of not being able to shut up. Um, it's not fun, especially when you're not used to talking a whole lot and suddenly you just give it, give it, give it, give it. Like I literally have to think to myself, girl, shut up, shut up, stop talking. Like if I'm at work and people are discussing things or like they're just talking about things, I don't have to put my two cents in. I can just zip it and do my work, but I cannot help myself. It is very hard to just shush. I was even looking for like books on it. I'm like, there has to be some type of self-help book on how to shut your mouth. <laughs> but all of them were talking about being better listeners. And I'm like, but I'm a fine listener. This is why people tell me all their secrets. I mean, I keep them, obviously. I don't tell anyone secrets, but you know, I think I'm a good listener, but I just am now having a hard time shutting up and I don't know if anyone else would consider me a talkative person but by my standards this is entirely too much I don't like it like so for me this is a an actual con like this one's not good I mean obviously the whole withdrawal thing is not fun but if you just continue taking it you won't have that problem but um this whole not being able to shut my mouth thing I'm not enjoying it <laughs> this that's the one thing that is not fun um yeah, I don't like talking a whole bunch. And I've joined like an uh like an ace aero like group here in this state. It's um it's like a virtual group. Sometimes they do in person meetups and whatnot. But um yeah, it's not fun um talking a lot in those groups and I'm like, girl, shut up. Like I wanna tell myself to shut up. So I'm feeling like they wanna tell me to shut up too and I just can't help myself. So I'm trying to like zip it a little bit more, but that is it. <laughs> That's a con. I cannot think of anything else right now. Um, yeah, I'm just having a good time with lower anxiety levels, with a, practically no depression. I haven't had any dips. There's nothing going on. So yeah, this is my update and I'm happy taking my 75 milligrams. I did have to come to terms with the fact that I will probably have to take medication for the rest of my life, but I am okay with that because I think I said this in my other video, but I'm like, who wants to go through her life saying like, well, I never took medication, but you were miserable the whole time. What's the point in that? Who wants to live life like that? So, hey, be nice. So yeah, I am glad that I'm taking it. And I guess that's all. Okay, bye.